Hi, I'm Aussie Vellon, and welcome to episode 19 of Aussie Clough, our bid to return Nottingham Forest to the top of European football. Big episode this one, as FA Cup replay against Chelsea. We go to Stamford Bridge and then, of course, Preston in the league. And just the one game since last episode where we did manage to get that 0-0 draw at home to Chelsea. Uh, and you can see 2-1 away to Blackburn. Decent result. It was a slow start. You can see they got ahead in the 21st minute. We were average to poor in this first half. Second half, we recovered really, really well. Callum Mosley, an absolute cracker. Uh, and, and Lawrence Bennett with his first for the club as well got us the, uh, got us the win. So it's a really, really valuable three points. If we just have a quick look at the league table here, you can see valuable in more than one way because it kept us in the automatic promotion places just two points ahead of Swansea. Six behind Sheffield Wednesday who are looking really good at this point aren't they um, but you can see we've got the six point gap now uh, up to the to, to, to dropping out of the playoffs so that's a nice little gap to have because if we're not going to go up automatically we want to at least have the playoffs to look forward to don't we but let's not waste any time it's Chelsea and these are the heroes that we are sending out uh, you can see it's Tokenozzi in goal. It's Davidson, Suter, and Malakase across the back, the triple towers. Skando comes in. His match fitness isn't fantastic, but De Silva Lopez has been playing a lot. So he comes in to play down the left and Joku down the right. Mason comes in for Griffiths in the lone playmaker just because we have a limit on the amount of lone players we can have. Uh, Joyce stays in midfield with him. It's Zelor, it's Elazarge, and it's Callum Mosley up top. Mosley's hitting a bit of form, and hopefully uh, Elazarge can continue his goal-scoring ways as well. So Chelsea playing as predicted. Now you may notice on the bench we have a new goalkeeper. I should quickly introduce him. Uh, I'll have to go to tactics to do that. This is a young goalkeeper. We have another token Aussie, uh, essentially. <laughs> Got him on a free. You can see he's only on 160 grand a week, purely as backup. Um, he, he may not even be backup if all our backup keepers are fit, to be honest. Um, but for 160 grand a week, couldn't really go wrong there. Uh, and our backup keeper, as luck would have, it. got injured in another 23 game. So he is on the bench for this one. Uh, but in terms of a team talk, expected to prove a point. I mean, that seems harsh. We are up against <laughs> up against Chelsea. I'm going to say go out there, even though we're the underdogs, give the fans a performance to cheer for. The old calm, we have faith. And let's have a look here. It looks as though that's gone down pretty well. So let's get on out there and see if we can pull off a minor miracle. Of course, Chelsea haven't beaten us yet in two attempts. So can we keep this streak going? Uh, Antonio Conte always handles not beating us with such grace as well. The, uh, I wish I could go back and show you the post-match press conferences and what happens during the week. Uh, toys are definitely thrown from the pram. So let's give them some encouragement here. Possession hasn't been going fantastically for us. Um, but that's okay. We've done okay. Ten minutes in, though. This is the first highlight. Can we repel this attack? One thing I think that we have done well in our Chelsea games so far is we have done pretty well limiting highlights. They tend to be um, the games that go by pretty quickly. So hopefully, there we go. Now, can Elzar just clear that, please? Just clear it. Just clear it down the line. You have someone down the line to clear it to. You're going the wrong way. That's not down the line. That is back into the middle of the park, and we got away with that. Well, there we go. I give them a concentrate, but I don't think it's going to do any good. Uh, we've also just given a shout, so we probably can't do it, even if we wanted to. Um, yeah, so if we can restrict chances again, but the, the last two times we've played Chelsea, of course, we've done so at well, the county ground last season, and then, of course, the Brian Clough Arena last episode. So this is a whole new challenge, going to Stamford Bridge to face them. This is something I think we struggled a little bit with, even with Villa, uh, when we had a much, much better team. So... If we were to get anything out of this, even to take them you know, to extra time and possibly penalties, I think would be quite the achievement. I don't think last year... Did we play... The Reading was at Wembley, wasn't it? They were a Premier League team at the time as well. So we've never actually beaten the champion, a Premier League team at their own ground. It's across the face of goal and tapped in at the back post. Is that Enrico? Federico? No. Enrico's the, uh, the old guy, and he's the dad. Uh, all right, let's give them some encouragement. 25 minutes in, that's a little bit disappointing. I don't know. I mean, Sandro's made a good run. I th think he's a central midfielder. He's drawn three over. We couldn't win it at the near posts. Chiesa at the back post. Who's let him go there? Scando. He, it's a bit of a risk playing Scando just because he is lacking match practice um, since coming back from his injury. But... As I said, the Silva Lopez has just played so much football that I've been trying to nurse Scando back to fitness, and I just think it's time he just he needs to start a game. He's a good oh, penalty. 
Is that Scando? Speak of the devil? No, it was Njoku. Oh, this is going a little bit wrong, isn't it? Come on, Token Aussie. Can we pull off a massive save here? Come on. Oh, straight at him. Good save, son. That keeps us in the tie, at least. Let's come back. <laughs> okay, so we're still in this. Let's give them some encouragement. Uh, they're looking a bit frustrated. The halftime team talk has got to be we're expecting more. Um, we haven't had possession. We haven't had a shot on goal yet. We really just have not been at the races. Uh, but thankfully, we are still in the tie, at least in theory. Um, it's time for everyone to dig in. Show me something different. I think we'll just go with that. Got a demotivated Liam Mason. I do wonder if we perhaps would have been better off playing um, Griffiths instead of Mason and taking out one of our other loanees. Um, we could have maybe done with taking out Elazar just because he's he played really well. Was it what was it, it was a Derby? I think wasn't it last episode that he got the two goals. Um, so he he had, did play well in that game, which is I'm kind of hoping he'll recapture that. But yeah, that that was sort of a an island in the midst of quite a few poor match performances like this. So I wonder if you know, maybe could have started Sawyer or or Louis Mars up top. Uh, let's see. No, come on, Elizage. Get on. Get after it. Get after it. Get after it. No, not quite there for him. Z Law. No. Just going to pass it out from the back. Mosley, stay on your man, please. Uh, all right. Can we get a tackle in there? Skendo should win that. He's given it straight back to him. Oh, this is. We're just not playing well. And yeah, that's a penalty. That's an absolute stone wall penalty. Well, there was. Mosley left his man, Scando got absolutely done, and then we eventually brought him down. Can we save another one? No. All right, so I don't just demand more, I think, at this point. It's, uh, yeah. It's a shame, but it looks as though there will be no return trip to Wembley. This I'll tell you what, Token Aussie almost got to that one again. Um, all right, let's try and make a statement here with Elizage and just take him off because I'm not happy with his recent performances. We'll bring Jordan Sawyer on. He has proven to be quite a decent player to come off the bench, uh, so that could work. Z-Law's not really in this game either. Bennett's been playing well. We're making a lot of changes early in the half here, aren't we? Um, I do wonder... Not playing Z-Law as the advanced playmaker with Joyce in the side, if that's perhaps something that we could have done differently. Scando's not playing well. Davidson's not playing well. We're just... We have not been in this game. Um, I don't want to... Right, what can we do to try and change things here? Dare we push up? Push up, stay on our feet, don't dive in. Roam from positions, play wide. We could get absolutely ripped to pieces here, couldn't we? More mixed. We'll try and exploit the flanks since they have a lot of wide players getting forward. We might be able to catch them out in wide areas. Uh, unlikely, but you never know. Scanto has been absolutely horrid. All right, let's give it a push forward. Ooh, there we go. A shot on goal would be nice at this point, wouldn't it? A highlight even even if it's a shot-off target. All right, Courtois. He must be getting on by now, wouldn't he? What, we're in 2026, I think. Um, it's a good ch chance as any to discuss January transfer window. At this point, there's nothing that I'm looking at doing. Uh, oh, that's horrid defending. That's pushing up, though, isn't it? Um, yeah. Damn, I don't, I don't like getting beaten like this. This is really... We have not laid a glove on them. I don't even want to see that again. Absolutely. We've come back in slightly with possession, but this has just been absolutely, absolutely horrid. Um, there's no one on the bench I particularly want to give any game time to. We could bring Cox on, but at this point, it doesn't really matter, does it? We just have not been in this game whatsoever. Uh, yeah, there's no, nothing transfer window-wise I'm looking to do. I feel like we've got a team that has shown that we're capable of, of competing for promotion. Um, I don't want to spend any more on wages right now. 
we just we did bring those two guys in that can sort of cover. That was an aggressive horrid. I'm really not happy with that. So yeah, that's just, uh, sorry guys. <laughs> it was not a good performance. Uh, yeah, so we do have those two young guys that we brought in, um, Bennett and Jones. So I think they'll they'll strengthen us for the end of the season and we'll go from there. Um, but it can only get better, guys. So wait right there and we'll be back for Preston at home. Okay, welcome back. It's time to bounce back against Preston. If we look at the league table, they are down towards the bottom of it here somewhere. There we are, 19th. So this is a game that we should be looking to win and hopefully uh, we will do so. This is the team we're sending out. It's a little bit of change. I think we had some tied legs maybe after that Chelsea game. So it's Tokenozzi in goal, Davidson, Suta, and Malakasis, triple towers across the back. The Silva Lopez comes back in along with Toth to play down the wings. Griffith and McCormack both come in in midfield. Tilly comes in to play in behind. Sawyer, who comes in for Elizaj, and Mars, who comes in for Callum Mosley. So as I said, it's all change. Hopefully we will get some goals this time around. All right, so the old 4-4-2, it looks like, for Preston. Is that Ben Davies that we had at Villa that we sold for Manchester United? I don't know what he looks like. No. So a 30? No, it's not. Uh, anyway, focus. Uh, team talk. There's no uncertain terms. Yeah, we do have to see a massive uh, change in performance, which is why we've changed the team. Um, so I don't necessarily know that that is the best team talk, given that we have essentially changed the entire team. Where the favourites give the points and to performance. I think I like that. Uh, then we'll go the old calm, we have faith. We are at home here, so this is a game that we don't need to put too much pressure on them because if we do just play our game, um, we should be able to get a win. So let's not put too much pressure on them and let's get on out there. Now let's hope for some goals actually too because that was really poor against Chelsea. I would have liked at least a few highlights to come out of it. Um, but looking back in hindsight, I've had, you know, about five, ten minutes since that game finished uh, in between recordings here. Oh, Mabby Matt! Oh, what a strike from Bobby Matt. It's a disappointing way that we went out, but to be honest, we can focus on promotion now. We don't have any other distractions, um, so it might might be a blessing in disguise, and it's not the worst thing, I don't think. <laughs> um, it's just the manner of it, wasn't it? It was absolutely gutless. We did not lay a glove on him, as I said uh, at the time. But this is looking a little bit more promising. Like I say, now we can focus on the league and make sure that we're uh, we're getting out of this uh, division at the first time of asking, which in itself, I think, is quite an achievement. Um, Token Aussie's picked up a knock and he's out. So Token Aussie 1 comes off. Token Aussie 2 comes on to make his debut. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, we really don't have goalkeepers uh, in any sort of depth. Uh, luckily, it is January. I want, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll see how serious that injury is for Token Aussie first. Um, I don't really want to use a loan signing on a goalkeeper, but we might need to do that, which would mean one less loaned outfield player able to play. Uh, let's give this some more encouragement here. Bobby Max found uh, Silva Lopez nicely. He can't quite get it over the top for Bobby Mars. Uh, Bobby Mars. Everybody's a Bobby or something now, aren't they? Uh, for Louis Mars. But Tilly's on this ball now. Can we go out wide? Sawyer's got it. Look at the space. Toth is in. Look at the space. There we go. He's found him. Can Toth get it back to Sawyer? He's a beast in the air. He's gone back post to Louis Mars! <laughs> That's more like it. It's on the score sheet. Nice dinked ball. Louis Mars at the back post is quite the salmon. He has a good leap on him, and he seems to be scoring those header goals as often as he doesn't. Uh, so that's really, really good. Another assist from Toth, who's uh, proving to be quite the assist king as well, which is always nice to have. You want your wide players, especially in this formation. We really need those wide players to be heavy on the assists. Uh, let's give them some encouragement coming into half time. I wonder if that should have been a concentrate, but we're doing a Chelsea tour, aren't we? They have not had it. Oh, there we go. Now they've had a shot. Um, but yeah, this is not going too badly. We just need to get into half time here. Reassess. Look at this. Everything they do is coming through the middle. That should be half time. Drab match. Uh, I mean, would we take a drab match with three points? I'm pretty sure we would. It's not. <laughs> the best episode for you guys necessarily. Um, but eyes on the prize. It is to get promoted and we need three points for that, don't we? So let's give this maybe an assertive don't get complacent. 
Um, and then what I'll do is I'll go through and just tell some guys here they need to pick up their game, and then we'll come back for the second half. Okay. No tactical changes as of yet. We'll keep things going as they are. Um, I've switched, you may have noticed in the Chelsea game, we've switched to playing um, very fluid. I feel like we've had the team together long enough now that we can start and introduce some more fluidity into... Fluidity? That's a word, right? Into our play. Um, so we've done that. Let's give them a concentrate here. And I can't remember if I've left it on we're playing wide or if I kept it balanced for the Chelsea game, and I don't know if I changed that. But luckily, we can check. We are playing wide. Um, well, wait, I did that against Blackburn, I think it was. Um, I switched to very wide when we went behind, and it worked really, really well. We looked a lot, lot better in attack. Oh, that's not good defending, though. That's not good at all. Oh, God. Well, all right, we're going to have to give this a demand more, I think, because the season's just in a little bit of danger of slipping away here. We're getting a, we're, just, we're not losing games. We are dropping a lot of points, though, and we're dropping points against teams like, you know, like the Derby game that are at the wrong end of the table to be dropping points to. Uh, all right, Tilly's not playing well, so we're going to take him off. We're going to put Bennett on because he's he's proven himself to be quite useful. Um, we do, of course, have... Well, he doesn't know he's not that good on the passing. We do, of course, have Jones, who we haven't used yet. Um, the main reason for that is just he's still getting up to match fitness and we only have so many spots in the team. I th I'm, I'm liking Jones more as a striker, so I, I'm just retraining him in that position right now. Um, I was tempted to put him on the bench, but to be honest, I, I chickened out and put Elizage on the bench in case we needed goals. Uh, let's see, can Bennett pick a pass here? It's a nice one through for Soya. Go on, Jordan. Soya, go on. He's got to be doing better with that chance. Uh, it is a corner, though, and we do have some good height, as we know. We've got the triple towers. We've got Soya. Um, we've got Louis Mars, who's proven himself already decent in the air. He's gone to the edge of the area, though. It's in for Malakase. Can he put his foot... Oh, what is that? Turn and have a shot, son. Uh, let's give it a, maybe a push forward. We're motivated and fired up. We're not playing well, though, and that's that's the real worry, isn't it? Um, we might look Elizage for Sawyer, I think. Um, there's a few guys, Elizage being one of them, and our defense as well, that I, in between games, sort of said that the form's declining. Try and pick yourselves up because uh, the match ratings are just starting to fall off a bit. Now, there's Bennett. Can he square it? He can. Oh, <laughs> Mars with his 50th goal of his career, and that was a little bit more like it, wasn't it? Toth with a nice ball down the line. We know Bennett's got pace. That was one of the things that really attracted me to him. And then look at that for a finish. That's a really, really good goal. 50th of his career, as I said, and there we go. So let's take pause here for a second. We've already made two subs, which is... I forgot we had to change the goalkeeper. Um... So we're actually probably not going to change too much. We might just look to control the game, though. And we'll leave it at that. Uh, I don't want to make a, what is essentially a needless sub up front, striker for striker, if that would be the third sub. And then we you know, leave ourselves open to injuries and red cards. And not be, oh, what a goal that would have been. Not being able to make changes in that sense. Um, okay, so this is fine so far. 2-1. We're not really controlling the game as I'd like, but as I said, that's okay. We could maybe go back to balanced as well. We might look to do that in a second here. Can I do that from up here, actually? Is that... I don't think width is one of the things, is it? No. Here we go. Sawyer. Can Sawyer find Mars on the hat trick? Louis Mars. Go on, Louis Mars. Oh, almost, 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 almost. We're attacking a lot better, though, aren't we now? We're looking so much better with the ball. We're just not controlling it as much as I'd like. Let's see here. Can Griffiths find another ball in? It's gone to Ajiro for Bennett. Bennett's at a penalty. He was appealing, I think, but he's kept the ball, which is the main thing. Griffiths goes in. No, that's not a good ball. Bobby Max there, though. Bobby Max lost it. All right. Is there going to be a counter attack? No. So that's good as well. Everybody breathe. 
the defense is still not playing well. Um, I might need to actually do some... I've been doing match training as teamwork and attack because we haven't been that, looking that good in attack. I might need to actually go back and just do some defensive positioning, see if that can improve things for us. Uh, okay, so we're going to go back to balanced. Uh, was it 85th minute? We might just look to lower the tempo a little bit here, retain possession, but go to more mixed passing, stay on our feet, be more disciplined and stick to positions. Uh, we'll leave that for now. We'll still look to just control the game. We might look to play our wing backs more defensively, though. We don't need them bombing forward anymore, I don't think. Silva Lopez has had a disappointing game. Everything in terms of team dynamics is still fine. You know, excellent uh, manager support, excellent um, team spirit or whatever that, that one is, squad cohesion or whatever the, the term is. Um, so there's no concerns there. You just wonder if it's just sort of a blip or tied legs perhaps. We have played, you know, we had that three games in three days, which was absolutely ridiculous last episode. So oh, don't let them go through the middle of you. Oh, we're all at sea here. We're scrambling. We're scrambling. Oh, we scrambled well. Okay. Can we get that ball back, Bennett? No. Put pressure on. That's the way. They're coming straight back, though. Toth, can he clear? There's maybe a pass out there, Bobby Mack. Oh, we're keep, uh, keeping possession nicely. I did tell them to keep possession. I would rather they just put their foot through it, if I'm honest. But there's a good ball for Sawyer. Come on, Jordan Sawyer. Come on, this is your big chance, son. Go! Oh. <laughs> Not even a quarter. Or is it a corner? Maybe it is a corner. Okay. I'll accept that. All right, Griffiths. Just not put it in the mixer, Sam. We've got all the big men in there. He's gone the edge of the area. Exactly what I thought. Bennett, can you put his foot through one? No, it's a bad shot. All right, we might go to defensive now. Into stoppage time. We've done, This has been a little bit better, hasn't it, in terms of shots. We have dominated the game. Um, just same old story of we don't... I don't like the the... We seem to score a very low percentage of our shots on goal, um, whether that's we're shooting from just too far out or whether that is we just can't score. I'm not sure, but Louis Mars here. There is a chance to wrap it up. We're still 40 or 30 seconds to go. It's a nice little ball for Bob, in for Bobby Mack, for Bennett. Shot blocked. Sawyer's there. He goes back to Suter. This is fine. I don't mind us keeping the ball as long as we actually keep the ball. Bobby Mack... Nice ball in for Bennett. Can he go? Oh, Louis Mars. There was maybe an early ball around the corner there for Mars, but that's okay. We still have the ball. Ten seconds to go. Hopefully this is going to be it. Bennett, can he play Louis Mars in for his hat trick? He tried, in all fairness, didn't he? But I think Mars and Sawyer may have got in each other's way a little bit there. But this should be it now. This That's the four minutes up. There we go. Good three points. Doesn't quite make up for the Chelsea game, um, but... Two goals scored is not a bad effort. Uh, was that a let off? I think it was. We didn't play particularly well, was it? Uh, new goals, new striker. We'll just say we're happy. It didn't really work, did it? Well, that it turned out to be a very important three points. Look at this. It must have been Swansea's drop points. They were five points clear now. Of oh, Yeah, they did. They lost to Watford. So we're five points clear in automatic promotion spot. Still six off Sheffield Wednesday, who we're going to have to go some to catch, I think. But that's looking nice. There's a nice little five-point gap. Token Aussie, it's two to three months. That's that's not ideal. Um, we're sending to a specialist. Oh, we're going to have to do something, aren't we? Because that is, that's towards the end of the season. We need a better goalkeeper. All right, so that's something to look forward to next episode. How did we solve our goalkeeping crisis? But that's for Sunday. You'll discover that. For this episode, though, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy that, uh, maybe you'd press and more so than Chelsea, make sure you leave a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. Thank you for everyone who has been subscribing. It, the channel's growing uh, quicker than I could ever have hoped. So thank you so much, everybody. We'll be back, as I said, on Sunday. We'll see how we solve that goalkeeping crisis. We'll come back for Crystal Palace. I think they're up there, weren't they? Crystal Palace is third. So that could be actually quite the game. We could get a, potentially an eight-point gap, uh, clear an automatic promotion. We'll do Watford as well, who did us a favor by beating Swansea. Hopefully, they can do us a favor by just rolling over and letting us tickle their bellies. But as I said, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. No goals of the month. We're not quite at the end of the month yet, but that'll be on Sunday as well for some of our best goals from January. But until Sunday, I've been Ozzy Bill, and thank you so much for watching. Take care. Thank you.